History buffs, listen up. The American Red Cross of New Mexico has a special exhibit coming up just for you. I went there and I checked it out, so you can check out my sneak peek right here. Hey guys, I'm here with Shirley Powers, who is the historian of memorabilia here at the Red Cross, and she has some awesome stuff to show us. Let's start here. Let's start. This is a 1926 staff aid uniform. Okay. We also have some World War II uniforms. This was for a field director. Right. He was the one who was out in the field with the troops during World War II. This is a World War I era flag. Uh -huh. And in the cabinet here, this side is all uh, service to the armed forces related. Mm -hmm. uh, the doll is in a World War I costume. And then there's a number of items, sewing kits and whatnot, that were given to soldiers. Oh, okay. uh, when they're overseas, either be it World War I, World War II, or the Beetle Bailey book uh -huh. that is from uh, Vietnam era. This side of the cabinet has some uh, U.S. postage stamps mm -hmm. that were Red Cross related, some Christmas seals, a uh, tradition which was started by the Red Cross, cool. uh, some ornaments, Christmas ornaments that had been done by National vehicle IDs, and Olympic pins. Junior Red Cross is where a lot of volunteers have started, and people of my generation <laughs> will recall having a, uh, taking their dimes to school to join the Red Cross Club and getting a little pin oh. to wear with it. And some volunteers wore the pinafore, mm -hmm. or we had patches that would be on the same basic type of uniform and they had their own magazine, the Junior Red Cross News. This is, I call it my little bit of everything table. We have a checkerboard scarf from World War II. We have, National did a series of truck banks. Okay. Uh, we have race cars. Uh, Great Biffle is a member of our celebrity cabinet. There is sheet music, and I have, this is full of sheet music. Uh, down here, we have uh, knitting patterns. Oh. That the gals in World War One and Two and, and men as well knitted scarves and sweaters and caps for the servicemen. And these are booklets on the various volunteer services, motor corps, nurses aid, home service, gray lady service. At this end of the table we have some disaster items, a comfort kit that was given to victims a number of years ago. And then we have uh, health and safety has been a big thing since the early 1900s, uh, CPR didn't start till 74, but we had sailing courses and canoeing and water safety and swimming, first aid, a uh, major part of the Red Cross keeping people prepared. Okay, so go to redcross.org slash New Mexico to get all your information on this. To see more on the Red Cross, head to casa.com and click on the style blog. 